Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I want to talk again about the board of equalization. I just talked to them. Uh, someone has changed the address of the Institute of South Land American Muslims back to the 4th Street address, which I have not done. Uh, I called back and I changed it. And again, County of San Bernardino, the state of California, know exactly what I'm talking about. Right? The counties all been doing this because they don't want an Institute of South Land American Muslim ever to prevail as a nonprofit organization. And that's why everything is being done and it's all fraud. It's all fraud. The from the beginning, from the beginning, when I filed the, uh, for uh, uh, with the Secretary of State of California, in, uh, April second, two thousand and thirteen, uh, was legal Zoom frauded with Bank of America. There's an account there. The County of Orange, uh, Department of County Support, uh, then from there, of course, the IIOC, uh, Institute of Islamic Institute of Orange County, Masjid Omar Farouk, and Board of Directors, all of them. I'm not gonna include a man, uh, Muhammad al faqih because I have tried to contact him and I spoke to him a couple of times. But this is all since CARE took, I contacted them, I've been contacting them since 2008 or 2009. Uh, the, American Civil Liberty Union, which they uh, took all my documents. The EEOC, uh, Department of uh, Fair Employment and Housing. Uh, the Department of Justice, uh, Attorney General Office, Citizen Complaints, many of them, uh, that they were mailed many times to uh, some documentation copies to the Los Angeles field office. Again, I thought that I was dealing with the Department of Justice, uh, U.S. Uh, uh, there is the first uh, uh, lawsuit against the Social Security Administration when they uh, try to make it sound like Muhammad Shaban verse, versus the judge. It was not that, and I make it clear to the attorney, uh, James, uh, United Disability, whatever, you know, everything is there. And then Pity Herrera was the one that came and actually honored. Everything is there. I don't know why everybody all of a sudden have amnesia about Muhammad Shiban and his uh, cases and his children and all that. The last events from San Bernardino, July 2nd, when I put uh, the address for the nonprofit uh, at Mackey Masjid, I have paid the ticket for the Imam that was here. Abu, Abu Ayman during Ramadan and I have asked our attorney to get him a working visa to be the permanent Imam for Mecca Masjid and also to be a teacher within the Institute of Southland American Muslims. This idea has been the theme for the Institute of South and the American Muslims from the get-go, from the get-go. Uh, Mr. P 
called Bernardo, my good friend that I have not spoke to because the FBI started harassing him. Uh, he's the, not in a very Unbelievable, unbelievable, I'm mean, still everybody asking me who did what, I'm mean, very concerned, Mr. Muhammad Shibani, very concerned. So, if they can't fraud you, and you defy them, and you bring it to the attention of the government, then they continue, they go crazy, they go crazy, committing every crime, because you defy them. Uh, everything was done by the book. The state of California didn't, didn't issue uh, a pink slip. The permit of insurance didn't own on my complaint. The permit of justice didn't own on my. They, they did nothing. They just, oh well, here, we're going to commit the crimes and that's fine. You know, you have no rights and we're going uh, to harass you all the time and we're going to be concerned about you. Because you really uh, don't like COVID America. And, uh, the international terrorist, Zionist terrorist organization that is terrorizing everyone financially and otherwise, including this country. Uh, now, all of these games. Oh, I want to honor uh, Dr. Mustafa Kuku at uh, the Islamic center of Riverside because I know exactly what is going on exactly what is going what is going on the county of Riverside and the city of Riverside the mayor office and I'm not gonna insult I do have great respect for everyone however I have knocked in your door many times I followed the protocol the procedures the legal way to do things started in 2009 or 2010 with the community action partner county of riverside uh, office bruce street everybody knows and i've been there um, the, there is a grant that i was supposed to get i got even uh, i took a class how uh, uh, try uh, not uh, grants and uh, but I certified and it, it, everything is being documented everything is being documented and then when I went to there asked for to lease or to purchase these properties to start our nonprofit as a community center there so we can work with all communities because this is what I'm all about that's what we all all about we Ummati Muhammad we don't discriminate and we do just this because this is how our deen, this is our aqidah. We don't, we don't do anything except what we've been commanded to do and decree upon us by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and follow by the teeth and implement the Quran, deen Allah, and follow the sunnah of Rasul alayhi salatu wa salam. That's it. That's it. And do justice, and don't don't promote dhulm. Don't be part of it, because when you're silent and complacent, you are a participant. You are a participant. This is our deen. If you've been taught, or or, or you've been taught or told otherwise, please, please make an informed uh, and conscious de decision to go and uh, find out yourself, right? And that's it for, not for the government, it for the government, because the government you know exactly what they do. You know exactly what they do, okay? Uh, that's who we are. Dr. Mustafa Kuku was removed because he helped me when I first come to uh, Riverside. He, uh, when I went to the uh, housing, uh, uh, County of Riverside Housing Authority to get the HR, HPRP, Homeless Prevention, Prevention Rabbit 
Burgheim, they ask you, they always ask you, when did you sleep last night? And I told them at the Masjid Riverside, uh, in the Islamic Center of Riverside, and Dr. Mustafa Kuku gave me a letter that I spent, I was sleeping there. And that's why I got the London manners, and then everything after that took place. The county knows exactly what's going on, because I filed with the county. Uh, Department of Justice, uh, HUD knows exactly what's going on, because I filed with them in 2008, 2000, actually before that, 2006 or 2007, against uh, Western National uh, Management Company, Orange County. Uh, and they have it all over the place. I filed against the Alpine Company. I filed against the uh, Archstone. I filed against uh, everywhere. I filed against the uh, Palacintia uh, place. I find, filed against uh, there is a senior home in New Belinda Boulevard, I think it's Prospect or Jefferson Prospect, uh, in, in the right before you get to Imperial Highway. Uh, and the person, and, and everything is documented, guys. Everything is documented with the Department of Health, the Department of Christmas, Department of Skittles, Department of Homelessness, Department, Department of uh, Plantations, the Department of County Support. Department of not to protect the children and commit crimes against children and commit crimes against them. And everything, everything. So again, uh, that's why uh, Salihin and Muhammad Sharif or Muhammad Ashraf or whatever, they all took over and that uh, doctor or Mohandas Ibrahim, whatever, uh, that they are, they stole my car. It's auto theft. And the Riverside Police uh, helped them to do that. In fact, the Riverside Police is the one that took my RV, which is my home, and they know exactly what they were doing when they took the truck and they took the RV. They know exactly what they're doing. They did exactly what they did at or in Orange County in 2009, in 2010, in 2013. Uh, so please, this is not uh, random. Everything is well calculated. And uh, FBI, FBI is still asking me, we're very concerned, Mr. Mohammed Shabani have a rental car, and we are concerned because that's what happened in San Bernardino, that's what happened in the uh, Trade Center, what's happening here. But they don't say that we are victimizing and frauding people and committing crimes against them, uh, kidnapping them and doing all, drugging them and everything else. They don't. They don't. This is not, you know, it's not their concern. And when I went to there, I said, where are my children? What happened to this family here? What happened to this family? And why you guys are doing this? Why are you harassing? What is their money that is supposed to be we save housing, school for the child that he got victimized? Husband of the who, Who's going to protect them when they're getting threats from the assignment that commit the crime that is is free and from the dad that is making personal threat to me and harassing the, his own children. Please guys, please. Who did what and when and gonna jive and gonna jive these are heinous crimes against people against children, against elderly, against everyone, just to, to, play, to place them in the system, keeping them in the status quo, and continue to commit the crimes as revolving accounts. There's no other way that can, we can explain it. There is no other way we can uh, sell it. And if any one or any department has any dispute, please bring it. Let's, let's sit there and Fax find me and get your exhibits. Please. Thank you. Again, Muhammad Shaban for the Institute of South and American Muslims. We are Ummati Muhammad. Our deen is not for sale. We don't get intimidated and we don't compromise when it comes to La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. It is 
our duty and our obligation to bring it to the attention of the government so they can uh, hold or, or conduct an investigation and bring people responsible for all these corruption and crimes against the masses. Thank you. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.